Hello everyone, good evening. So this is the, the second video about AI. This is how you learn AI in let's say less than 15 minutes, right? So let's start. So let me just give you a context on what we're gonna to cover today. I'm a big AI user, all of you are AI user, right? So now let's just see how do you make AI simplify your life or how can you make your life a little more simpler? When I say AI, we're not talking about all the bigger, let's say, tools like, let's say, uh, the, the GitHub and or, or, or any of those developer tools. We're just talking about layman's very simple tools such as ChatGPT and uh, Perplexity, right? They are one or the other same. They are using similar models, similar LLM models in the backend. They have uh, models that generate research that can search for things and that can kind of let's say build things right and we're going to talk about all of that so welcome to just cause and please hit subscribe if you have not subscribed yet let's start so here i'm on the perplexity window here and you'll see the pro but you can do most of the things i'm doing in a normal account as well and i'm not really going to go deeper into let's say how do i build uh, a website or let's say or how do i build very big things or let's say how do i automate a lot of things we are just going to focus on very simple things how to use perplexity for your daily activities as a part of your job as a part of many other things right so there are there are a bunch of things if you see here there is a, let's say a search option this is where you hit search you search everything then there is a research this is where you do really good stuff on research. So you can really, let's say, search, develop a framework for effective order, blah, 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 and all those, right? I mean, it's pretty deep and it comes back with a lot of data. This is time consuming for the AI models. So it takes a few minutes for you to get the response. Then there is labs, labs where you build things. For example, if you want to build a very basic website, labs will help you do that. So we'll talk about all the three, right? And we'll talk about how do you make your life simpler with all these? Let's start with a search. So we can ask any random questions here. We can just like, just ask, let's say, uh, tell me, let's just say, tell me what's, what, to, what to do in Delhi. Very basic stuff, right? So see, it's processing a few things and we are now in the search mode. Right, so it has gathered information from Trip, TripAdvisor and a bunch of other websites. See top attractions, historical monuments, temples. I mean, so, so this is basically telling you what you can do in Delhi. Right, but this is a very generic stuff. This is not really a, a tour plan or a, let's say two day plan for you to in Delhi. Delhi is an example, you can do Manali as well. Right, but you can get better at this. How do you, how do you get better at this? just go and give the right prompts so any ai tool responds to you based on the prompts you give prompts are the questions or the details we give to the ai tool so now let's just let's say ask a better question right tell me what to do in delhi when i'm very very basic let's not go into frameworks and all those i'm just talking about very basic things anybody can write when I am traveling to Delhi from, let's say, Bangalore for two days, I am traveling with friends, with two male friends, yeah, and I'm landing my flight, right? I'm flying out from uh, Bangalore. Now this is gonna give you a much better result because now you have given a lot of information about your plan and see, now this is customized, right? So for a fun day to trip in Delhi, two day, two day trip in Delhi, from Delhi to Bangalore, sorry, from Delhi, to Delhi from Bangalore with two male friends 
and where would you prioritize so it's it's asking you to prioritize these things right of course there is nightlife and all those uh yeah so and then details of things you can do here india gate and then there's and spice art and the nightclubs right you can go into these nightclubs and then let's say enjoy life of course relaxing outdoor experiences now this is a little more detailed right now let's just say find find me cheaper flight tickets from to DEL. so you can just do all of this i mean you can ask questions where you need a cheaper flight tickets it'll it'll go to these websites it will scrape websites like make metro booking.com and many other websites so you don't have to really go into these websites and find what is the best way of achieving it'll tell you and it'll actually even tell you the promo codes right some of these will work some of these mostly will work because the this will be based on the history usage history of people and the data which is written in those websites for example this is written this this data should exist in clear trip that is why they're they kind of let's say scraping this data or bringing this data here so now you have all these details now you have economy is going to cost you this and then a bunch of let's say carrier options and sky 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 scanner generally gives you lower fares by comparing everything else and it's giving you one option that sky, you can go to sky scanner or make metric from here and then book your tickets right the same thing now let's say you can ask related questions if your plans are flexible let's say cheapest non non non-stop flights next 30 days right so so these are the things which is difficult for a person to do you'll have to go to make my trip fair calendar or any of those features and then find the cheapest here it'll just look at different days and then tell you the cheapest option so in this we're seeing let's say these dates you have 5900 then let's say some other dates like 11th november somehow things are costly and i don't know maybe it's a weekend we can check that so you'll get all of these options right now where to stay under 5000 inr near let's say i don't know india gate And of course, you may not be able to book in this. You will have to go into those booking websites, the online travel agents, OTAs. But you can always find the options here, do your comparisons, do your homework. So, in a, effectively, things that had taken, let's say, an hour in your life to find best options and best feasible options, you're just doing it in five minutes, right? So there are a bunch of options here. And then you can use look look at reviews. You can ask for reviews. Of course, reviews are written here, but then these are again scraped from people, so uh, from the websites. So yeah, so these are these are a bunch of options which are shown to you, right? So this is where you search. You can search for it. This is like a Google search, but it's it's slightly better than a Google search because someone is doing something for you, right? Someone is doing the work for you. Google just tells you results. I mean, with the new Gemini AI in Google, definitely that does the same work for you. But if you go to ChatGPT or Perplexity or Google Gemini, it's going to give you similar results. They are based on some same models trained on different sets of data. Now let's go into the next option, right? Labs. This is one of my favorite, right? Labs is where you can build stuff. And Labs is available in the pro account. But if you have an Airtel account in India, you get a pro account for free. So it's all good. Now let's say uh, let's ask build me a website to sell luxury cars in India. So now it's creating a plan. This is going to take some time, right? I mean, it's it's telling you like ten minutes and all those. Okay, yeah, we we won't wait for ten minutes, but it's doing a bunch of this uh, research. It's kind of let's say looking at data points and it's kind of telling you how to build a website six minutes i think we can skip this and probably 
see what the results are. So let let let, let come out in a minute, and then we should be able to see how we can build a website, and how is the AI is like Purple Purple City is going to help us do that. It can even build your HTML pages, which you can upload into any of those hosting portals. See, it's running, generating a detailed essential features. It's running some kind of a Python programming to come up with those features. I think it is now in the creation mode than the gather mode. Select so car sales, I'll create a comprehensive website, right? It's giving you a lot of data as well, right? So this is market context. Again, this is research. You can skip if you have done the research already. Now, essential website features. See, premium visual design, mobile first responsive design. This is what is needed, right? First, first loading times and all those. So you need to do all of this. So it's telling you what is the best way of building a website for luxury car sales in India. Now, vehicle showcase. It's a 360 virtual room. It's, it's kind of giving you everything. Probably a product manager used to do in their life in the past. Right, so now you have access to information what needs to be there on the website. You don't really need someone to tell you that. Then lead generation, conversion, test drive booking, finance calculator, contact forms, all of this needs to be there. Right, so, so all of these details are there now. Now, in, now, let's say they've not really built a page yet, but help me build an HTML page for above. Let's see how that goes. I have not tried it before though. Yeah, they're saying they'll create an HTML template. A template is good enough in a way. Let's just wait a few minutes for this to load. While our website page is loading, let's just go to the, the tab of the perplexity. And let's see uh, if it can do a slightly better work in terms of, let's say, automating our daily emails, right? So I'm just saying, send me summary of all emails I get in a day, every day, 9 a.m. Let's see if it is able to do that, right? So, so, so this is saying it will design a recurring system that searches relevant emails in the morning, extracts and consolidates the content, and then it gives you a summary. Right Now, Comet is definitely something. We'll do another session on Comet. Comet is a browser, a web browser, but very much powerful in terms of AI, back, backed up with AI. It's from perplexity. Comet will be able to do this. Comet already has access to your Gmail. Or if you give their access to Gmail, it will be able to beautifully automate and send you a summary every day. But let's see if this perplexity itself is able to do that. See, there's a task. It's going to create a task. Daily, 9 a.m. Expiration date. Uh, let's just say we need it for a few days, right? And create a task. A task will be created. Now, all of this will happen, right? priority and you'll get all of these details immediately every day 9 a.m. So even if you let's say if, if you if you are used to checking your emails work emails again of course you'll need your company's organization's permission to give access to uh, work emails but let's say your personal emails your personal emails if you don't check them I don't check my personal emails but do you want to spend five minutes every morning uh, by just skimming through the work email summaries and see if anything important sorry the personal email summaries and see if anything important is stored up this is your way of doing it this is one this is just one option right we definitely have a bunch of other things we can make the ai do for us we can set up reminders we can set up we can give ai a task and then send us a notification when the task is completed Let's quickly go and find out if this is ready. This is definitely not ready. This is still building. So let's let's give it a few minutes. None of us are in so much hurry. 
So here we gave the prompt in terms of let's say create a design for me to build the website. We will go to the HTML next. Initially we asked for the HTML and it was just giving textual information. So again coming back to the prompt. A prompt is all important. So I'm going to start with the, 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 the designs here. Right. There are a bunch of generator images you see. So there is an image for the home page. Then there is another image. So let's just go deeper and see all of this. Right. So there is visual designs considered. So they have considered this option. So you have a you have a big car or let's say a luxury car in front and the new explorer, right? So that's gathering attention. Then there are a bunch of options, price range. There is a left navigation. So you have a brand model price range here and all those. And then you give them options to choose, right? Then there is pricing, a different model, which is let's say, a vehicle, it's pricing, and then a big call to action where you just book a test drive right of course then there is support elements for example let's say how what is the emi you're going to pay what is the tenure what is the interest rate general stuff to create leads right then book a test drive and all those so now we have a comprehensive design guide which is exactly what they have used this is a color palette this is typography and all those so all of this becomes much easier now we have a design in place we have we can just convert that into an html and you're all set to go you can upload that html into one of those godaddy's which is godaddy's hosting website right and they also have similar basic templatized building tools uh, we will cover that in a different video but now that people used to charge let's say 15000 20000 40000 for building your website you can do it in what 30 minutes, right? We did it in less than that. We did it in five minutes. Yeah, so that's how powerful the AI tools are. Now, last but not the least, let's just go check what is it a search for. This is not something you will use every day, but this is something which is very, very powerful if you want to learn about something. So I'm just picking up my past, past research topics. So let's just say UX research platform validating masterclass use cases in virtual event platforms. It's a it's it's effectively a proper research topic, right? It needs a lot of data to be gathered. So it's gonna do a this is like this is similar to the research seminars we used to do in college. So it tells it collects all the information for you at one go, which we used to do manually, and then it tells you the the options, the solutions. And it even suggests you what is the best solution to go with. And it backs up the solutions with the data it has gathered as well. This is probably going to take another minute. Anyway, we don't need all the information. So I'm going to skip this. And let's just go into the answers. So if let's say you're given a challenge at your office, or let's say you have a challenge in your college that you need to find answers for. Don't go into the search. Go into the research and then type in, type in the clear prompt. Just clearly type in what you want to achieve. The moment you have clarity in terms of what to ask, you have uh, the, the AI has the, the best clarity to give you the best answers. Yeah, it's taking a minute. Fast forward to the results. We have the results here. So now you see we have the comprehensive research plan. It has the overview of the approach, the three phases of the research, and then it goes into participant recruitment strategy. So how do you, how are you gonna in kind of let's say talk talk to the participants about to I mean about getting them into the platform? So the research is about let's say virtual event platform right so how do you get participants into it and then uh, discovery research method so, so it covers mostly everything right this is where you go in perplexity research mode when you want to learn about something when you want to research about something and then talk about it or present a seminar or present a conference conduct a facilitate a con conference on it yeah i think that's all we had for today yeah see you guys soon Thank you. Bye-bye.